welcome back to my channel y'all it's been a minute since i picked up this phone to vlog but today we just doing a random vlog today i want to show you guys what we pick up for my family of five it's five of us um when we grocery shop so yeah so today this is what we do we grocery shopping and also me and my husband want to make our diy laundry detergent so we picking up new um ingredients today i follow chloe yasmin on youtube and she and her mom recently had one grocery shopping and um i seen the products that they use so i want to try those out but anyway so yeah that's what we're doing today and we got the two boys with us so Mari, she's at school right now so going grocery shopping right now so i want to bring you guys along with us and then i'm gonna show you guys the haul once we get home but yeah it's our it's the intro <laughs> that's what we're doing today y'all okay y'all so we made it in here now i'm gonna show y'all what we pick out we need one big thing got a boca is that oh they say focus <laughs> not focus one big thing and i don't know how all this gonna fit in here And then we need a big thing of the Arm and Hammer. You can either get this one or the OxyClean one, it don't matter. You might want to put it at the bottom. Yeah. Need two packs of these Ariel, this one, and the other one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a box of these as well. Need and then the last thing we need to get is the laundry beads. We need to get two of these. But so you're going to be smelling that for a while. We got this, the Drift last time for the kids so we can use it on the kids but it don't matter we can do the downy or the drift okay. That's fine. Does it I think so I, I want to do the downy one because it's cheaper <laughs> it's nine dollars let me see yeah it smells okay yeah we decided to go with this one because it's only four dollars and the other one was like nine dollars so we're gonna get two of these instead yeah so we back in the car so i'm gonna go with the total Oh, well, we split. Now, do you remember how long that um, last one last us? Mm, I think two and a half months, maybe. Two and a half months. Okay, so we... <laughs> okay, so we had recently went through some Tide Pods. We had bought a big one, and I think that was like $35, and that lasted us for like two months. So we want to see how long this lasts us. So last time we had used different um, products for the DIY laundry detergent. So this time we trying something new. So uh, and this time me and my husband said we are gonna track and see how long it lasts us. So we know okay should we get the top pods or should we continue to make this? Um, so yeah, <laughs> we about to go to Kroger now and we will bring you guys along with us as well. You could have said that quick enough. Pyros? <laughs> What's that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're supposed to be looking for Pyros. Josiah are throwing stuff on the ground. That bag. I gave him the bag. Oh. The Pyros? I know we need two of these. Okay, y'all, so I'm in here and I'm looking for a good chocolate peanut or almonds or cashews. I'm over here, let me show y'all. Over here, but I want it to be dark chocolate. I used to make my own mix, but, um. I'm kind of getting sick of it, <laughs> and I want to try something new, like a healthy snack, but I don't know, I gotta keep looking. <laughs> looking for some honey. I've seen people talk about this honey a lot. I want to try it one day. Damn, knock out. He was just woke, y'all, and he sleep already. <laughs> you explain to the people why you're having food in here? We just had uh, cricket on your head. 
Hmm. I'm looking crazy. Eee. No, I ain't no cheese. It's a video. So we at Dollar Tree right now. Joe, I'm about to go in and get some aluminum pans. Y'all, if y'all have not seen or been in Dollar Tree for a minute, y'all need to go in there because their Christmas decorations are so cute. Like, I was surprised when I went in there. And also, that's where I want to get my Christmas decorations from. But I got my tree from Dollar General, y'all. If y'all looking for, like, a nice, affordable tree. I got this tree before, but um, I got the, I got my tree from Dollar General, and it was $35, and it's a six-foot tree, and it was pretty good. It lasted us for a good minute. I think for like two or three years, didn't it? Then we had to get another one because um, the box ended up getting wet because our floors was like flooded a little bit. But anyway, so yeah, if y'all looking for a good Christmas tree, Dollar General have them um, six feet, and they have a, um, they already pre-lit, so they have the lights on there and everything, y'all. Perfect. And then Dollar Tree, y'all want some good ornaments and stuff. Dollar Tree has some good ornaments. But he about to go in and get some oh, yes. aluminum pans because we making pot rolls. Yeah. Oh, we have a, he doing a shoulder. Well, we doing a shoulder. He gonna teach me how to do it. But yeah, we had, I had to start recording while we was in, and it's like just got my skin looking good. You know my skin ain't that good, <laughs> but he just gave me looking so cute. But anyways, um, Josiah was acting a fool. And Kroger, so I had to stop recording. So, of course, when I get home, y'all, I'm gonna do a haul to show y'all everything we got. So, yeah, him back there. It's his nap nap time. It's three o'clock. He used to take a nap, so I ain't even ready to get on him or fuss at him about it. Well, I didn't sweat it too much because I knew it was his nap time, so I knew he was gonna be acting a fool soon. But he was just he just sleeping. <laughs> Took everything out the box. I mean, out the bags. Um, Javari, he's learning how to twist up out his seat, and I gotta lock him down. But <laughs> say hey to the peoples. Say hey peoples. Say hey peoples. Look at this smile. Say hey peoples. <laughs> say hey. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? Okay, y'all, so I was going to put everything up, but they'll just take a lot longer to record. So, I'm just going to go through everything, and then I'll put it up later. So, the first thing I see is the kids. Chicken nuggets. Uh, they never had these before, but I thought I like White Castle. I had it before. It was pretty good, so I wanted them to try those. I got some parties. Y'all seen that season that my husband picked up in the store, the Buffalo Ranch season. He going to try that season on these wings, so got that. We got, I got two packs of the uh, broccoli florets because I love broccoli in this house. Um, I have, I never had these polo sausages before, but I seen them and they look pretty good. So we got that. Of course we got bacon for breakfast and two things of um, sausage links. We got some onions because my husband, like I said, my husband is making a um, shoulder. Or he's going to teach me how to make a shoulder. And um, so I have some things to go with that meal as well. So y'all already know my kids love these little veggie packs. The, um, and so we're going to freeze this. These are catfish nuggets. Yeah, I didn't know, did not know that catfish nuggets was this inexpensive. This was uh, ten dollars. Red tanker. So we got some catfish nuggets. We're gonna freeze them. We're gonna have those either next week or the week after next. I forgot to let you guys know that um, this whole grocery haul, uh, Lord's Will is gonna last us for three weeks. Uh, we went. We did a big grocery haul this week. Yeah. So all this supposedly 
if we planned out everything right, it would last us three weeks, you know. Of course, we would have to go get random things here and there from the grocery store. But for the most part, it's going to last us three weeks. Four family of five. So, what is it, five of us? Yeah, I feel like I got too many kids. <laughs> but, yeah, for a family of five, that's supposed to last us. So, my kids love this pizza. This the the uh, cheese trio pizza. They love that. So, I got that for them. Um... Uh, Mari loved these Lunchables. She loved the nacho one, but um, I ended up getting her the turkey and cheddar just so she can try some things out. So yeah, my baby, she is so picky. I already know that, but. So yeah, so I love um these um romaine leaf um lettuce. I love using these for like sandwiches instead of bread. So I got a pack of those. I got some whole carrots for the shoulder. My husband. He not sure if the potatoes and shoulders because we wanted to make a roast, but we didn't see the meat in the store, so we got a shoulder instead. So I still want to do the potatoes, which we already got, and I want to add cut up some carrots in there as well. So y'all hear Jabari? He back there behind y'all. So <laughs> we got some ground beef, y'all. I've been loving, and I'm gonna have to go back to the store because I just remember I forgot it. But I've been loving like ground beef with the broccoli. And just like put that in and put a stir fry sauce in it, um, like general toso or um, any kind of stir fry sauce, and just eat that. Y'all been loving it, so we got some ground beef for that. Um, of course, onion powder, garlic powder, gotta cook with it. I put it on everything. <laughs> uh, we got some blueberries for Josiah because he loves blueberries. Y'all already know my kombucha. I already saw, told y'all about this. This is the blueberry ginger kombucha. Um, this is strawberry lemonade. And I also got raspberry lemon ginger. So, yep. This is the ranch season I was telling you guys about. I mean, yeah, the ranch season that my husband want to put on those wings. We just want to toss them in the air fryer with this season on there and see how it tastes. Um... My kids love the mandarin oranges, so I get these for them all the time. Um, these some little quick little um, side dishes. So my husband and my kid, well, no, not my kids. Just I might eat it, Mario not. But um, it's a quick side dish, uh, the broccoli cheddar. And I think I got the chicken and broccoli as well, but it's a good quick side dish to make. My husband got some organic ginger root because we love like making ginger tea and stuff like that. Uh, this is my sweet treat. <laughs> I got some pineapples. I love pineapples. Let me know, do pineapples sometimes like, like burn the top? I don't know if I can say burn, but it like irritate the top of my mouth, the roof of my mouth. Like, I don't know, but I actually love them. <laughs> Um, I got some garlic salt as well. I love cooking with garlic salt instead of regular salt. I don't know why I just do. <laughs> we got some paper plates. So my husband needed some mixed greens, so he ended up picking up this chopped kale. I really don't like kale like that, but my husband do, so he got some chopped kale. Whatever way to get your greens in. <laughs> I love this uh tyson grilled chicken y'all they have a black and kind that's my favorite one but i got the grilled chicken for the kids as well so you know instead of the um chicken rings sometimes they can eat these but if you guys want to try the black one y'all they are so good just throw them in the air fryer so good i got some cucumbers because i love cucumbers and i need some cucumbers for a quick salad uh, we got, if you guys have never had Kroger's chicken salad, y'all, it's so good. All y'all do is just add a little bit of sugar in it. Yeah. <laughs> Kroger chicken salad is fire, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all really need to try it. It's so good. And then we got some unsalted butter. I'm sorry, you guys, if I talk really fast. I don't know why. When I get excited, I just talk fast. But anyways... <laughs> Y'all, so I tried these last week. Oh my gosh, the caramel uh, rice crisps. 
y'all these are so good like these i feel like these better than me eating like other chips and stuff because i'm a real snack head i love eating snacks <laughs> but so yeah i had i had the little pack last week i had to come back and get the family size y'all oh my god that's so good got some bananas for me and mari we love bananas everybody else in my house do not like bananas but me and mari love bananas let me get some kool-aid um we got this big old thing of eggs because we go through eggs a lot it's five of us well really four of us because Javari don't eat eggs yet but we got this big old thing of eggs So y'all, I just seen, I seen this in a store. I want to try these with their chicken salad. That's what we're going to eat today before we go to church. But, um, I never had these before. Let's see how they taste. Let's open them up real quick and see how they taste. Hope they good. This pack is really little. <laughs> I wanted to try these instead of regular practice. So, let's see. Good thing. It's supposed to be gluten free. They're not bad. They ain't nothing to rave over, but they're not bad. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, I seen Cracker Bear pancakes. Everybody got all kinds, kind of crazy stuff to say about Cracker Bear, but Cracker Bear got some good pancakes to me. So, I wanted to see if I can try to make them because they got the directions on the back. Let me know if y'all the type to, um, when you cooking, like, I'm learning how to cook slowly. And I think I'm getting pretty good at it, but I always, it don't matter how many times I don't make a recipe, I always have to go back and look at the instructions or video because I hate messing up. <laughs> so I'm glad they got the instructions on the box. So I'm gonna follow the instructions to see if we can make it just like um, Cracker Bear because Cracker Bear got some five pancakes, y'all. <laughs> so I end up getting some honey for my husband for his ginger. So you can make it like a ginger tea. I told y'all about that. We got some cooking spray. We got some beef broth. You good, Tanka? Ugh. This is the shoulder. It's not bleeding or anything, but this is the shoulder um, that we picked out. And I can't wait to make it because my husband, he can grill y'all and he can do some meat. He can season some meat really good. So I cannot wait. I'm, I'm going to get him to cook it. But <laughs> I cannot wait to he cook that. <laughs> I already told y'all about my uh, creamer. This is my favorite creamer I've been using. So, <laughs> I was telling y'all about their Starbucks creamer. It was dairy-free. Dairy this one is dairy-free as well. But their Starbucks creamer, <sighs> they're drunk. I thought it was just because coffee was making my stomach hurt in the mornings. It wasn't. It was that creamer. <laughs> that creamer was making my stomach hurt so bad, y'all. <laughs> And it's TMI, but still, oh my gosh, that creamer, I can't do that creamer, so this one right here has been my go-to, and I'm loving it. And I also have started to drink cold brew coffee. I used to not like cold coffee, but to be honest, I never actually tried it. I always thought cold coffee was nasty because I hated, like, room temperature coffee. And I was like, ugh, cold coffee tastes like this, room temperature coffee is if cold coffee tastes like room temperature coffee, this is disgusting. But I tried it with ice before. And I tried it just cold, like extremely cold coffee. And I actually really like it. So this is my first time trying to stoke one. Um, I tried the... My freezer was open the whole time. I tried the Starbucks kind. And I also tried another one. I'm going to see if I can find a picture of it and I'll put it on the screen. But um, this one is good. But it, it got sugar in it. So I really don't like this one that much. This one is... Uh, yeah, this one is unsweet, and it's another one I tried before that's unsweet as well, and I really like that one because I just put this, and then I just put the cream in there. Use that coffee, and then just put the cream in there. So, um, but yeah, so I'm excited to try this cold brew and see how I like it. So, speaking of coffee, I also love my hot coffee as well. It just depends on whatever mood I'm in. But um, I'm not even finna butcher this name. <laughs> I um, found this coffee in Kroger, and this is my first time trying it. Uh, so, yeah, I want to see how this tastes and see if I like it. If I do, it's good because it's cheaper than the Starbucks coffee. 
um, the ground house blend Starbucks coffee I usually get, or the Dunkin' Donuts. I also like that um, ground coffee as well. So that one was cheaper. So we're gonna see if that one is good. So my son, Josiah, y'all, he loves these. Like every morning he's going to my little stand over here where their snacks are, and he's looking for that. Either this one or the strawberry one. So I had to get him another box of those. So we just got like orange juice and other like stuff just for the house. But um, I ended up getting these, like I have a Swiffer already, already, but I stopped using it cause I was so sick of buying these two things. And um, so I just got the old cedar mop, which I love the old cedar mop, but I hate, well, no, I don't hate pulling it out. It's, um, I store it in my closet, but sometimes when I just want to like spot treat the floor or just like late at night when I'm doing the cleaning, when I just want to go over the floors, I bought this again, but I'm not going to go through it as fast because I have my old cedar mop. So, um, I bought these, um, again, just to use my Swiffer, like for spot treating the floor. So I won't have to bring out that big old, old cedar mop thing. Or when I like late at night, when I just want to go over the floors, I have the pads in the Swiffer with it again. So, yeah. So y'all, I think that's everything. Like all the other stuff is just random things. But um, me and my husband, later on tonight, hopefully, we're gonna record us um, making the laundry detergent so we can show you guys. So yeah, I'm about to put up all this stuff and we'll come back later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we finna show y'all really quick how we, <clears throat> make the um laundry detergent because my husband gotta go to work real quick so we gotta like speed through this but first we're gonna put the um half of this um baking soap is it baking soap the arm and hammer okay yeah we're just gonna put half of it in <laughs> so yeah we, everything up here we got from walmart this container we got from walmart i think we got this either walmart or amazon how much in there? I'm gonna put the prices on the screen, y'all, so y'all can see how much everything costs. So that's the first thing we put in there, and then we're gonna put half of everything in here. So we just realized that this stuff gonna last us at least four months because we use a half of everything. Mm. Like I'm using half of this because it's so much half of this and half of this one. Let me show sure you I got it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And then the focus, we're going to use half of them as well. Mm -hmm. oh, it's cute. <laughs> y'all up close to how it looks and then y'all if y'all want a cheaper route of the bees these was like five dollars like i said i'm put this uh prices of everything on the screen but this smells so good i'm gonna put a whole box of that and then since we bought two of these we're just gonna put one of the arm and hammer bees in there washing clothes today so i have sensitive skin and my son josiah he has sensitive skin so i'm gonna let you guys know down below how this works with our skin um if it caused any irritation or anything like that but last time we made our laundry um detergent it was really smooth none of us got any irritations but i'm gonna give y'all a close-up shot so y'all can see how it looks it smells so good <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this is how it's looking. Um, you will need a big scooper because if you just use like a regular spoon, it'd be kind of hard to mix it all together because you got to get the yeah, even that one, even this one, not strong enough. Like, you need a, either a metal one or a really big scoop or a spoon to make sure you get like all the 
the edges of everything to make sure it's all mixed together really good okay y'all so this is how we make our laundry detergent um like i said i'm gonna let you guys know down below how it works with our skin with my kids skin and all that kind of stuff so um yeah so y'all this in this video is just a quick video showing you guys our grocery haul and our lunch how we make our laundry detergent but i also want to let you guys know this is a new one uh like new recipe we tried um last time we used different ingredients and i'm gonna show i'm gonna list those ingredients down below in the description box as well so y'all can see if you guys want to choose those ingredients or go with these ones with for the laundry detergent but yeah okay y'all so that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and if that notification bell is still there hit the notification bell so you can notify every time i upload a video and we see you guys in our next one